What's up guys and welcome to Upfront Games. Here we are again with edition number 22. So trucking right along. We will get to that gear mark eventually and hopefully by then we'll be fully balanced and operational with new stuff to add to the channel. Uh, but we'll see. Anyway, first off, let's step into something that was put out last week um, that I found out this week is not true. So the Outer Worlds, um, it was originally put out that they were going to downplay the PlayStation version being that Microsoft had purchased Obsidian. Um, and looking at a new article this week, that is just not the case. Um, so the original uh, outlet that allowed this to be brought to light uh, then claimed responsibility for uh, putting that out as being incorrect uh, and my source then put it out as well that um, this was not the case so I apologize for that uh, sometimes uh, some of these outlets give us the wrong information and we just have to you know suck it up because we did put it out um, but when it comes down to it I apologize uh, and we steadily make sure that we are putting out everything as a honest article and if we do come across something that is then viewed as not the case we will fix it and move forward from there so there's that. Now, um, let's jump into PlayStation for this week. Um, the video that we have is After Party, so check this out. Hell basically runs itself nowadays. Yeah, I have to assign torches and clean up uh, pre-skeletons every once in a while, but people typically know what to expect. Except, well, these two morons I keep hearing about. Milo and Lola. Their friends their whole lives that then go and die like two minutes before graduating college. They go through processing, get their personal demon, the whole thing. But then they take a cab ride from Sam. And she goes and blabs about the loophole. Like I didn't already have enough to do tonight, you know? them to outdrink Hell's Monarchs first, you know, my psycho relatives. But to even reach those nut jobs, the losers will have to deal with karaoke crowds, the lava swamps, the fanatics from the Force Circle. I mean, these complete idiots really have no idea what they're getting into. I need a drink. Is he talking to us? <laughs> All right, so that was After Party, and it looks like it could be a really cool little game um, running around trying to outdrink uh, the devil's uh, co-patriots, if you will. Um, <laughs> so it does look really interesting. Uh, I think I may check it out depending on how much it is. I was kind of disappointed in some, some titles that released. I think it was last week. Um, I don't know if you remember, if you were tuned in, but we reviewed a item called The List, mm -hmm. and uh, it actually ended up being uh, $40 on the PlayStation Store. I was like, um, no, sir. So I imagine some of those will come down, but um, we'll see. But this one does actually look like it could be well worth uh, 30 40 bucks. Um so that'd be something to definitely look into as it's released this week. Let's jump into the rest of PlayStation's news for the week. Uh, the Last of Us 2 got pushed back to a May release date, May 29th to be exact. Um, the added time is to bring the game to Naughty Dog quality. Uh, and the lead on The Last of Us 2 stepped up and said he's apologetic, but they looked at it and realized it needed more polish. 
so they wanted to push it back a few months to achieve that. And this coming a week, two weeks after they uh, had already released the actual date of February 21st, I believe it was. So uh, that is pushed back to May 29th. However, from my end, if you're going to polish the game and make it look up to par with everything else that you've put out lately, and especially The Last of Us 2, I'm all for it. Three month push, uh, I can wait. Um, all right, lastly for PlayStation this week, Borderlands 3, October 24th to December 5th, they're going to have new challenges and rewards, uh, Vault Hunter skins, Echo Device skins, a weapon trinket, weapon skin, a new legendary weapon, and more. Blood Harvest is live, and that's completely free. That's going to be their Halloween event, uh, and as that's running, you can get a lot of cool stuff. Uh, there is a video for that, so by all means, go and check that out. And uh, if you're playing Borderlands 3, go look it up. I, I mean, I'm not sure the levels. Uh, they didn't say anything about what level would be able to venture into Bloody Harvest, uh, but it did look really good, so there you go. Uh, that's it for PlayStation, so let's go ahead and jump into Xbox. And I want to disclaim this at first because I had intended on putting in a video here for Police Chase because uh, it actually did look like it could have been really good. However, even when you go to the website for the publisher, you can't view the video in the U.S. It's great. So, uh, sorry about that. So we changed it uh, for this week's video to Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. So uh, check out the video. That was Super, Mon Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz HD. Um, overall, I, I, I used to love the Super Monkey Ball games. It looks like a great game for just something casual to play. Um, so by all means, check that out if you're interested. That does come out this week as well. All right, for the rest of Xbox news, let's just jump into it. Um, designed for Xbox will include mobile gaming. This means new hardware, controller clips, mobile first controllers, and other hardware. Uh, MOGA Gaming Clip will launch in November. Again, these are all uh, mobile peripherals uh, that will allow you to attach a phone to the top of a controller and other means to play your Xbox games on the go. So um, there's that. And if you're interested, I think uh, one of them launches, the one that launches in November, I believe, is like $18 or uh, $21, something like that. Um, so by all means, if you're into mobile gaming, your Xbox, um, check that out. Uh, next, from October 25th to November 3rd, you can save $100 on select Xbox consoles. Um these are all the console bundles that they're allowing uh, for this promotion. Xbox One X Gear 5, or Gears 5, my bad, bundles, NBA 2K20, and 1S Digital Edition. Uh, Xbox.com and all major U.S. retailers will have this $100 off um, ability in the near future. So... Well, actually, sorry, that's already started, so right now, my bad. Um, that's it for Xbox. Let's go ahead and move into Nintendo. And for Nintendo this week, the trailer that we have is Luigi, Luigi's Mansion 3. That drops on the 31st. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out.
Hello? Mario. Luigi's invited to a gorgeous hotel with Mario, Peach, and the others. Oh, lucky him. Luigi's Mansion 3. This hotel is much more than meets the eye, for not long after Luigi arrives, things take a dark turn. We begin our tour by taking in some sights and sounds. You may never leave. You want to leave. The other guests certainly don't plan to move on. They're ghosts, after all, and they're rather aggressive. Simply scare them with the straw bulb, then suck them up. Luigi's new Poltergust G00 has the powerful suction capabilities required and other new features as well. First, the slam. While trapping a ghost, slam it on the ground to inflict some damage. It helps to get other ghosts in on the action. Next, the suction shot. Fire the plunger to attach it to something, then pull the string and... You can destroy furniture and more. It's effective against certain ghost types, too. Sometimes ghosts may feel inclined to gang up on you. In such situations, a burst should do. The powerful air pressure released will blow away ghosts, and it's perfect for when you need a little air. Ah, uh, we simply can't overlook the latest invention from Professor Egad, namely Gooigi. Change between Luigi and Gooigi to use both their skills. Gooigi can do everything from slipping through metal fences to walking on spikes. Indeed, there are obstacles too great for Luigi to handle on his own. And if you pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend, he makes for a great co-op partner. But proceed with caution. Gooigi and water definitely don't mix. Now, please direct your attention to the Scare Scraper. Spooky? Sure. Yet it also houses up to eight players for local or online co-op gameplay. Defeat all ghosts before time runs out. Seek and find our dear misplaced toads. And face any challenges the tower throws at you together. What a place to wake up in. A haunted hotel with floor after floor of oddities. Many traps and mischievous ghosts lurk within. What will befall our missing Mario and friends and his dear brother Luigi? Their fate rests in your hands. Luigi's Mansion 3. All right, guys, so that was Luigi's Mansion 3. If you're like me, uh, you definitely enjoy the Mario, Luigi, original characters to Nintendo games, um, just for the nostalgic factor, and in some cases, just for the added features and, and uh, great gameplay. So I think this one looks good as well. Um, I saw a statement about uh, somebody saying Luigi's Mansion, the original on Nintendo, was amazing because it was more of a scary type game um however i think they're they've got a good concept the trailer looks amazing so i think it'll be worth a pickup so um let's move deeper into nintendo for the week and then we'll get out of here um so street fighter producer states that fans need to mob nintendo to get new additions to the series uh, Yoshinori Ono stated that there are only two games residing on the Switch and that sadly there's no talk of adding Blanca to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. So uh, if you want any of those, those features added or you want new Street Fighter games, you have to bug Nintendo directly because it isn't the producer of Street Fighter that is holding back new Street Fighter games. It is in fact... Nintendo, according to this producer. 
and Yoshinori Ono. Okay, and that was stated in an interview. Uh, I think it's a way to get people to rile up Nintendo, and maybe you'll get this producer to uh, to go through with a new Street Fighter edition for the Switch in the coming months, years, etc. Okay, so uh, now you know the Outer Worlds will not release on Switch till next year. Um, five months are needed to port the product to the Switch. And that puts its release in March, which begins the new fiscal year for the publisher. So it all kind of makes sense. Um, one thing that I've, I, I've kind of grown to be a little impartial or upset about in some cases is the fact that the Switch is a platform that needs to be ported beyond the original game being released. That sucks because it seems that PlayStation and Xbox are able to release at the same time. However, because of the added porting to the Switch, it ends up holding back Nintendo owners. Sorry. Nothing I can do, but it does. it, it is kind of frustrating if you think about it. Because if you're a Switch-only owner and you've been looking forward to some of these uh, AAAs or even... Um, just great IPs coming out to Switch. You're waiting longer than everybody else. I guess that's what you get for owning a Switch. Hmm. That's not a pawn. I own one myself. All right. Anyway, guys, have a great week, and we will see you for edition 23 next week. And we're going to do our end of the month video that happens to fall on Halloween. So that'll be interesting. But we're going to cover a lot of what we found out since the last video in regards to PS5 and Xbox Scarlet, as well as how Stadia is looking in development because it does release next month. So keep that in mind. We will talk about that very soon. And y'all have a great week. And see you next week. Bye, guys.